dramatic emotional testimony on the seventh floor of the federal courthouse here in downtown Los Angeles. Vanessa Bryant tearfully talked about how she lives in fear that gruesome crash scene photos taken by firefighters, taken by sheriff deputies, will somehow become public. But the county in its defense says that has not happened despite two and a half years going by. So it's not clear that Vanessa Bryant and her fellow plaintiffs have been damaged at all. Excuse us. Her face hidden by her black sunglasses. Vanessa Bryant said nothing, as is her custom. Yeah, he's got to step back. As friends and security helped her into a black Yukon SUV for the ride home to Orange County after court ended. But on the witness stand this morning, she said plenty. When she heard that unauthorized, morbid crash scene photos had been taken, she said, I broke down and cried, and I wanted to run down the block and just scream. I'm worried about any photograph that would identify my husband and daughter. I'm disturbed at the fact that someone would want to do that. When asked by her attorney if it caused her pain, yes, that's my husband, our child. Those are our friends. It violates them. And then what does she want from this lawsuit? I want justice for my husband and daughter. And accountability? Yes. Sheriff Alex Villanueva was next to the stand, testified that when he heard his deputies had taken photos at that January 26, 2020 crash scene, a story broken by the L.A. Times that his department initially denied, he made a decision to offer deputies amnesty. If they deleted the photos, they would only get a written reprimand. Villanueva testified that he was determined these photos can never see the light of day. On his so-called amnesty decision, there's no playbook for something like this. That was our primary concern, to make sure the photos never got out. Secondary was accountability. This trial is expected to continue into next week. Vanessa Bryant's claim and her co-plaintiff, Chris Chester, who lost his wife and daughter in that crash, are claiming emotional distress, invasion of, invasion of privacy, and negligence. Sheriff Villanueva uh, initially said that only NTSB and coroner's investigators should be taking photos at a crash scene like that. Today, he seemed to walk that back, saying at least one of his deputies was authorized to take photos to, quote, document the scene. But he was the first witness for the defense, and it was very combative, as you might imagine, with uh, under cross-examination by Vanessa Bryant's attorneys.